Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to send any of your Blender 3D models into Unreal Engine 5 and then make it become a game asset. Now you can see the player in my game project can interact with this 3D model. This is a ladder. This is a stair. Now this player can interact with it. And I make this model by using Blender. This is Blender 4.1. So how to import any of your Blender 3D model into your Unreal Engine 5 game project to make it become a game asset. I'm going to show you the step by step start from now. Now everything start from beginning. My Blender 3D model is on my desktop, the stair 01. If I double click you can see my 3D model is here and then for this 3D model you can see the shading it included some of the normal maps the roughness the metallic so I go and check the shading you can see this shader it included four other images there are PNG that already inside my blender project file and the next step, I want to export it out and make this as a game asset in Unreal Engines. But before that, you need to export all of the material texture as well, included the metallic, the roughness, normal, and base color, etc. So now I back to the layout. Now you can see the file position is here. The location is on my desktop or any other position position any other locations it is up to you it can be anywhere the first step what you need to do is just go to click file external data and take this by default it is untick then you have to take it the external data automatic pack resources you have to make sure you select this to take it next click again external data and take it you have to repeat one time that is by original by default it is untick then you take it then untick it again that's all next step click file external data and pack resources then choose the first one use file in current directory then you should be able to see a texture folder is created now, you can see all of this texture, the material texture are exported. The base color, metallic, normal, and roughness. Then, next we are going to export the 3D model. Click File, Export, FBX. Then, I'm going to export it on my desktop. The path mode you choose copy and highlight this. This is to make sure some of the basic material texture embedded inside the FBX file. But usually, it will not include the roughness map, the normal map, etc. But the base color for sure, it will automatically embedded inside this FBX file. I click export. The FBX, the FBX file is exported on my desktop. If I double click it, you can see the material texture, the base color is already exported out, but you cannot see any of the normal map effect. But it doesn't matter as long as all of this texture you, are, you already exported out and you already have the FBX file. Now we can continue to Unreal Engines. Now I'm going to save this Blender project file again. Click File, External Data. Tick again to make sure it automatic pack resources. Then pack four files, then click file, save. If this one already selected, then all of the material texture automatic save inside the blend file. If you unpack it, then it will be in external folder. So now I'm going to close the blender. Next, I'm going to open the Unreal Engines. I will start the Epic Game Launcher. Then I'm going to launch the Unreal Engine. 
as demo, I'm going to just start a fresh new game project. A third person game project, I click create. Now this is a fresh new third person game project. The first step, what I need to do is just go to the window content browser to activate the content browser once. Then drag it down to the bottom, click the contents. Next, I'm going to import the FBX file. But before that, we can just have a game test. We try to play. This is a third person game project. You can see the player avatar is walking around in the game scene. Next, press escape. I'm going to import the FBX file here, but I'm going to open a new folder, create a new folder on the content. Name this as stair01. Right, double click to enter. Next, I'm going to import the FBX. Drag and drop into here. Then click import all. Close. Now you can see the stair, stair 01 is here. If you double click it, we can check the 3D model to check the material texture. The material texture is set here. This is a static mesh, right? Static mesh, you double click it, the material texture is here, you double click it. Now, we just want to confirm that what, what type of the texture is important then we can check it here you can see here we only have two material texture the first one is the base color and the second one is the roughness that means not all of the materials are, are embedded inside the FBX file we need to import more we close this first and we don't save this so back to the texture folder we are looking for the shots the base color is already here. Metallic, not yet, so it's not yet. We drag and drop into the stair01 folder. Now, it is imported. Next one is the normal map, drag and drop into here. Because you know that you have four material textures. So here, supposed to have four. If short, then you need to import it manually. Then your material is set here. Stat01 is the static mesh, double click it. Open the material. From here, now, if you not trust the original setting, you can just delete this two texture sample. Click and press delete button to delete it here also. Delete it as well. Then, from STAT01 folder, you can just click, hold your control to select all of this. 1, 2, 3, 4. Drag and drop into material. Then, separate it so that you can see clearly. Now, the first one is the base color the second one is the metallic the third one is the normal map the last one is the roughness once it already connected you try to save this and check your check your 3d model now all of the material texture already apply properly you can save this again close now you can drag this 3d model into the game scene click and press e so that you can rotate it you can press r so that you can rescale it like this but if you try to play actually the collision is not not set properly yet all right so in order to set the collision properly you need to do one more setting. Just double click the static mesh, then 
Right here, scroll down. Scroll down until you see the collisions. The collision preset is block all, this is correct. The second one, the collision complexity, you have to choose. Use complex collision as simple. Choose this. Then click save and close. Now try to play again a game test. Now you can see all of the collision already set up properly. You can see your player avatar is already can interact properly with this 3D model. Alright, try to play test again. Just look at every sim single step this 3D model have the complex collision so that your player avatar can interact with it. Now everything already look perfect with the material setting. Everything already well done. Right. And from beginning everything are just from Blender. You make 3D models in Blender and finally make it become a game project, make it become a game asset in your game project. Right, that's all for today about my tutorials on how to import any of your 3D models from Blender into Unreal Engine to make it become a, a game asset so that your player's avatar can interact with the collisions of your 3D model, can walk on that, can run on that. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!